Master Sergeant Leela Foss, and I'm a clarinet player with the United States Army Band Pershing Zone. Today I'm going to talk to you briefly about hand position and playing posture on the bass clarinet. First thing I want to mention when we talk about the bass clarinet, we're going to talk about it as though it has a front, which is this side with all this key work on it, and the back, which is where the mouthpiece comes out. You can see this register key and there's a thumb rest a little bit lower. So in order to hold the clarinet properly with your left hand on top, the first thing I want us to do is to think about if you're gonna pick an object up like your mouthpiece cap, you're gonna pick it up and you're having slightly curved fingers when you pick something up. You don't pick something up with flat fingers, right? Same idea when you're holding the bass clarinet, you're gonna have a curve in your hand as you get close to these keys. Your thumb is gonna go on this button on the back below this register key. So that's where your left hand thumb goes. And then on the front, there are three buttons that you're gonna take your first finger, your middle finger, and your ring finger. Now, if you have a smaller hand like I do, it can be hard to reach all of these keys. We still wanna make sure that we keep our hand rounded. I'm not approaching these keys with a flat hand. I'm approaching them with rounded uh, knuckles. So that's where your left hand is gonna go. Your right hand will be on this bottom section and it's gonna take care of everything going on down here later. But for now, the only thing I want us to think about is this thumb rest, which is an object on the back that gives your thumb a place to go so you can support the instrument with both hands. So back there, my thumb sits underneath it and then these fingers on my right hand, my bottom hand, are gonna stay curved and ready to go for when we get down to those notes later. Playing position on the bass clarinet is similar to the other instruments in that you wanna have very good posture. You wanna be sitting up quite straight in your chair not slouched or slumpy. The clarinet, you wanna bring the bass clarinet mouthpiece to you. You don't wanna to go to wherever it is. That's why we have this peg on the bottom. It allows us the opportunity to change the height of the bass clarinet. So you want the height where the mouthpiece is when you're sitting up straight, very comfortably coming exactly to where your mouth will be. You definitely don't want it to be way down here because then you're gonna to have to do this to play it. You don't want it to be over here because then you're doing that to play it. You want the bass clarinet to come to wherever you are when you sit straight in your chair, ready for a great rehearsal.